on, man. Forget those fools. Who cares what other people think? We have the each other, and that is all that matters. Star's right, bro. What do those big shot superheroes know anyway? They know having a movie is the only way to be seen as a real hero. You are the real hero to us. Yeah, you put this team together. Without you, we'd be all alone. That's right. Without you, bro, I'd be living in a dumpster eating garbage. And I'd have to enslave entire dimensions with my evil dad. And I would be forced to return to my life of fighting in the pit of the intergalactic gladiator. And I'd be playing professional football. It sounds good, but you're forgetting the concussions, the bad knees, going broke, and having to be on one of those awful dance reality TV shows. But why don't they take us seriously? We've got the cool costumes, gadgets, and the powers, and the sweet kung fu moves. What are we missing? Well, what about an arch nemesis? An arch nemesis? Oh, yeah. An arch nemesis is like a status symbol in the hero world. Yeah, bro. Every superhero's got one. Super bad dudes with super scary names. That are fun to say in a dramatic way. Superman's got Lex Luthor. Green Lantern's got Sinestro. Sinestro. And the Flash has the Rainbow Raider. He rides upon the rainbows. That is pretty scary. If you can get a crazed lunatic to devote himself to taking you down, it means you really are a top hero. You know, the kind they make movies about. How do we get an arch nemesis? <laughs> <gasps> it's a crime alert! A crime alert? A mysterious figure breaking into Star Labs! This could be it! The key to a movie about me! Titans! Let's go get ourselves an arch nemesis!